Hey guys, what up? Uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Ted Mavaso. Thank you for subscribing. And if you've not yet subscribed, please just make sure you subscribe and also make sure that you click on the bell notification icon so that you'll be the first person to see when I make the next upload. Um, I want to show you something that I stumbled upon. Uh, I was shooting uh, not long and then I realized that Flip, as I was doing the edit, I realized that one of the dresses the model was wearing was not properly ironed. So, we were running out of time, we couldn't iron it. And by the way, even though we could, there was no electricity because we made about three hours to shoot and after that there was no electricity. And then I realized that flip, I have to do something with this. And then I figured out a way. Let me show you how you can actually get rid of wrinkles in your dresses or whatever clothing the model is wearing. Image which we have to work on. As we're shooting here, yes, I realized that flip this image really looks beautiful but there's one problem with it we have a wrinkled dress and we could not afford to uh, iron it again you know we are going through load shading there was no electricity after that so yeah we could not afford to not we could not afford to go ahead and shoot again so yeah um, it's easy though if you come across the situation that just know that uh, it's easy so uh let me show you the method you um, you have a background layer there so if you're using mac uh, it's control j you basically duplicate this layer twice if you're using a pc or windows it's control j so for mac it's con command j duplicate twice then you switch off the top layer you are left with the bottom layer and then you come here with the bottom layer selected come to filter come to noise dust and scratches so basically here um you're just gonna pick uh, the most the area which is mostly in focus i'm not sure maybe it's here <clears throat> yeah but i think somewhere here <coughs> somewhere in the belly yeah let's just select uh, here uh, let's select yeah, somewhere here then um, let me put it at seven don't go beyond 10 guys it will be too much so uh, after that you click ok threshold if it at zero then you click ok <coughs> then you see now that I've, I've applied the filter now the image looks a bit blurry now you go toggle the, f the, the layer at the top then now the image is back yeah so we go to the top layer with the top layer selected we come here to image apply image and then we come to uh which layer um we go to the layer which we were working on previously which is layer number one so after layer number one make sure that your channel is rgb blending mode is also on subtract so uh, your scale should be at two offset 128 if those values are different make sure you set them accordingly opacity always is at 100 and then you click ok now you'll see that the image looks a bit grayish now you don't have to worry after that you come to your blending modes and then you go to linear light the rest will not make this image look back like it was originally it's only linear light which will fix it then you come to linear light you've selected then voila and then now we start now working on the image let's zoom it in so that we can see what we are working with over there so we come to the bottom layer so <clears throat> yeah we come to the bottom layer we now select make sure that when you do your selection you go to lasso lasso tool now make sure that the polygonal lasso is not selected make sure it's this one selected the free lasso make sure that as you select don't go next to the edges any edges avoid just go next to it then after you've selected your lasso you come here feather should be selected at 20 should be at 20 then fine now we start selecting you don't have to select everything all together you can do it in past so make sure you avoid the edges and then after you've selected that come to filter again but this time you go to blur then you come to gaussian blur <coughs> now you realize that <coughs> i'm sorry you realize that we had already set um 
the dust and scratches to a radius of 7. Now multiply that 7 by 3, it gives you 21. Then if you selected 10, it's going to be 30. If you selected 8, it's going to be um, 20 something, 20 whatever, mathematics. So then 21, yeah, voila. I think now you can notice that there's a difference between this side and that side. Okay, and then yeah, you do this. Um, yeah. And then once you've done that, there is no more need, guys. Uh, um, on Mac now, you'll see that uh, this Control, <coughs> Command, and F. So Windows will tell you. I don't know what is Control because we have Command and whatever. I'm not sure. So you'll see, it'll show you on Windows what uh, is that. So there's no more need for you to come back and reselect those things they already uh, selected for you so just use this shortcut so for me in my case is control command and f then we come we do our selection in parts though in parts control command f voila wow i think we already see uh, a huge difference which i really 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 love Wow, damn, I didn't know that Photoshop also has a, 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 an eye on future feature. <laughs> this is lovely. Okay, now you see that there is a noticeable difference between and between the before and the after. We'll do that later. Then voila, let's zoom our image to screen wow 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 i can notice there is a huge difference and this dress looks amazing wow so now let's just uh, group these ones and they will say i and <laughs> i and. so yeah now let's see this is the before and this is the after wow okay guys thank you for subscribing hope you've learned something if you want to check out some of uh, the, the the photos from this photo shoot uh, please follow me on um, instagram and also on facebook um, i have included the link down below uh, please make sure you also subscribe share this video with your friends see you on the next one bye bye voila